Should Watson be nerfed or buffed? Straight up, I know analytics are important and we will cover pick rates in a future video as it does need its own dedicated piece to really break down. But based on the major conversation, let's take a deep dive on what works for her and what does not from a gameplay, tactical, and enjoyment perspective. Now, the fast answer on buff or nerf we need to realize when season 10 comes is to consider it more of a rework, meaning we're going to get a both a buff and a nerf. Let's answer the quick question, why is she not used in competitive Apex Legends? Fast answer, I believe it's because Gibby exists in the meta. Most do not know, but his bubble is actually a direct counter to her fences. I'm going to show an example in the background. If her fences no longer get broken in the line with that bubble, I feel she would reclaim a lot of competitive dominance. Yes, her ultimate counters his ability, his ultimate, but when getting pushed in a building, this is an instant break to whatever setup she has created, and everyone can push for free. So let's answer the next question, what will get nerfed? Most likely it's going to be her hitbox, due to it being the smallest still in Apex Legends. We saw the changes to Lifeline and Wraith, this seems to be a logical change coming to Watson. I would not be surprised if we saw it. Perhaps more tuning of her ultimate, perhaps a change in the timer, or even an adjustment to her fence's damage, is realistically the only change I can see, or maybe the number of fences that she can put down. Now what will get buffed? Perhaps how fast you regen your armor while in her ultimate. The cooldown timer to get your ultimate back. The cooldown timer on her fences, maybe they come back a little faster if the number has been reduced. What breaks her fences, such as the Gibby bubble or immune to grenades or gas? That may be too much, but just some ideas of what we could see. Now, realistically, what we're gonna see is a rework, which is why I use the word rework, because we're gonna see both a buff and nerf. I think it's gonna work very much in hand like Revenant did. You give and you take. Well, this one is interesting because I'm unsure how long Watson has been cooking in the kitchen or if we're going to see any of these potential ideas. Because the community has posted so many very unique ideas, I'm just going to include a few. Fences can be placed at angles, ceiling, and walls. Her ultimate works more like a backpack. Sits on her and it's a complete mobile regen and also stop of ultimates. Her ultimate can be picked up to save on the timer and placed on the ground whenever needed. An adjustment to her regen timer when it kicks in. This is for her base heal. Most say that it should match Octane's healing. Fences provide a speed boost when near them. This goes for an area effect for the team. Another one would be fences provide a damage buff when you're near them, so increases the amount of damage your weapons do. Very much like Rampart does. Fences are what provide regen ability instead of the ultimate based on the number placed. That's an idea. That's a rework. Watson, when she puts down a fence, gets a speed boost to go place her next fence which will help her fence off a building much faster or get into the fight. I mean, the ideas have been endless and are very interesting. I like the one about when you put down a fence, you get a speed boost because it helps you be both defensive and offensive at the same time. These are just some of my favorites and there is tons and tons. And I recommend even putting more in the comment section. I wonder if anybody from Respawn would even see this video. I'm unsure if they will, but listen, we're just spitballing ideas and there's a lot of opinions here. And I think the more input that we have that's positive, maybe it has more of a positive impact. So why is the community so focused on her? This seems to be a very common one recently. It's always the thing I've been seeing so much of. I mean, she's so iconic. She has her Nessie, and she also has a lot of dominance in the competitive scene. She really was the first true defensive legend that made it in competitive. We saw a character have a near 100% pick rate and then instantly disappear. Which is why no matter what she has, it's really a fond place in our memories. I speak biased, as that's why I initially played her, but everyone wanted to play Raid. And Watson was just as viable, and since then I've literally been a Watson player. So we're going to touch a very high level about her win rate. We're going to cover this more in a future video. This. I can't just sum up in two sentences, there's so much that goes into this. But because she was a more defensive playstyle, her pick rate is a lot lower, you can say on a broad sense, and because of that, her win rate could be higher because you had to play more smart. Meaning you can't just kind of full send it and make a aggressive RNG based push. You have to go more of something that is a sure shot. This leads to better placement, better p potential wins. In ranked, an example, Gibby remains more dominant and Watson is run less, but in regular matches, sh her fences are going to be a lot more dominant because Gibby is less present. This is what I've seen her really adjust for her win rate. Now let's discuss why is she boring. Defensive playstyles are always boring. Whether whatever sport you're watching, whether it's boxing, football, 
while it can be a very smart tactic, it's not the most interesting to always watch, which is why I always get the question, how can you play Watson aggressively? This will lead to my answer of why I main Watson, so let's go ahead and segue to that. I always found a major interest in legends that make you think or have a very high skill ceiling. It's why I never really played Wraith. Not that she doesn't have a high skill ceiling, but I always wanted to think about my positioning. I came from a video game such as Battlefield where your positioning and tactics really mattered and you have to only utilize what your toolkit provided. So utilizing something that can get you in and out of positioning just never really sat right with me. But I do like high skill ceiling players like Watson or even Loba that provides something interesting in terms of loot. And while I did talk about Pathfinder's mobility, his grapple compared to Rafe's tactical definitely provides a higher skill ceiling and interesting plays that you can make. A good Pathfinder just can make and break, especially when I see it in competitive. Pathfinder's ability to reposition an angle and play smart is just so interesting, as well as Loba having the ability to have height advantage and seeing that she has now movement after her tactical, which is not as good as we want it to be, but it's still decent. And her ultimate, even mid-fight, what you can do with it, it's very interesting to see. Now with Watson, you have to think ahead as if it were chess. You just can't full send an open field. Pathfinder could, he can definitely fly across and just go right into it. But with Watson, you need to lay the angles, see the rocks, see anything you can play positioning off of. Your fences provide unique utility most legends do not have. Others who have this would be Rampart and Caustic, but Watson takes an edge with her ultimate as she has the ability to stop every legend's offensive ability. Almost, for the most part. Then to top it off, it has a timer on it, which means you just can't throw it down like you used to. You have to actually even think even more. This really causes thinking, but also to have better aim, better movement, and better positioning as a Watson, because your default is always having better mechanics. You cannot take your tactical ability away, such as Wraith, Pathy, Loba, Octane, and way more. If you do use your tactical as Watson, you pretty much get stuck with the fence in your hand. This really causes thinking, but you also need to have better aim, better movement, and better positioning as a Watson, because your default is always better mechanics. You cannot just take your ability away, such as Wraith, Pathy, Loba, Octane, and way more. If you use your tactical in an open field, you're pretty much just going to get stuck with a fence in your hand. I cannot tell you how much I needed to move, wall bounce, use angles just to survive, but also exercise patience to win. Patience is such a hard thing, one of the hardest things for me coming from always wanting to push especially from other franchises where I've always enjoyed playing aggressive. Which is interesting when I play Apex Legends, I like playing Watson as it's a reminder to be better. Want to be a better Wraith? Play Watson a bit and realize the moments that you wish you had her tactical to get out. But then you don't have a tactical. You need to think with what you had and creatively figure your way out or fail. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.